Well, hello to you all. I hope you're doing well. And I am doing an update on my Smeg kettle and toaster that I've had now coming up to, I think, two years. It might have even gone over two years now. And I thought I'd just do an update with you. I haven't cleaned them. This is just how they are every single day. And I thought I'd give you an update on how they're getting on, really. This is a very vulnerable moment. Obviously, I'm not, I haven't cleaned them or anything like that. So do not judge. Do not judge any of the back at all. I am repainting it. I've moved in here just over a month ago into this new place. So please do not judge. But we're here for the Smeg kettle and the Smeg toaster. And um, yeah, let, let's just do an update. I'll try to keep this as brief as possible. Let's start with the kettle. There is a slight unfair advantage to this pair in particular. They were in storage for three months while I was kind of between places. And um, so the kettle itself, so I haven't cleaned it down. However, I know these marks will. This is just general kind of, you know, you, you made a cup of tea or that you made some gravy or something and there's a little bit and stuff here and there. Uh, I'll wipe it down in a minute and I'll show you how well they clean up. But as you can see, really, there's no chips there's no dents there's nothing other than one chip there um which I, I think was even on my previous meg video that i did that i think someone actually hit when they were filling it up which is very frustrating because that's the only dent i have and i was really worried that it would kind of start to rust um but as you can see it's all good um i had been continuously wiping this down after every use so when it kind of gets a bit moist and wet i just kind of give it even if it's just like my arm just a little wipe down um the inside there has got a bit of like lime scale going on but nothing horrific as you can tell the silver i'll, I'll show you in a second that will come up just absolutely lovely and then the handle as well also yeah absolutely fine just needs a wipe down so this is probably about a week without a proper wipes down use obviously this is the white color so you know you are going to get marks but it's not horrific um let's have a look in the inside line scale has been a bit of a problem uh, at the moment in here as you can see there is a build up now um, and I've been using this as I said just over a month and it was pretty clear before so I think where I am now the water is a bit harder so I'm going to have to clean that but yeah the line scale is sitting on the bottom however you know obviously I've seen worse I'm sure you've seen worse in the kettle as well but yeah, as you can see like the metal inside is looking really good like over here um, yeah there's no concerns at all um, Let's have a look because I haven't cleaned this as well actually um, since moving in here. Yeah, I mean, it's catching some of the lime scale that's coming out, but trust me, there's definitely lime scale coming out, especially when I'm like boiling a um, pan. Oh, I've just dropped that in, I'll get out in a second. But when I'm making like a boiling ready for a pan, like you can really see the lime scale. The top of the lid's fine, none of this looks like it's breaking or like looks like it's gonna crack or anything which is really good I can't believe i just dropped it in there hilarious but i need to clean it anyway so that's a good reason and then the toaster so again um it had a it did, they do pick up like you know a little bit of dust or fluff or anything the top here again as you can see it's just got joan marks who have had some seeded toast as you can tell um but yeah really good quality still on the top and um, there is no dents as far as i'm aware on any of this toaster anywhere um the shine is still holding up um it's obviously you can see this in there again i did empty this actually i think two Two weeks ago oh, i can't remember how to remember it <laughs> but yeah you just press the little button here just comes out yeah i mean it collects it fine and if you look in there you'll see it's still on the edges but um you just knock that about and that will come out so what i'll do is i will give it a wipe down i'm just showing you the controls as well that the writing hasn't rubbed off um you know again as you can see it's got a little bit of a you know just the general everyday fluff on it um it does kind of leak out on the bottom but every kind of toaster does that but really they're a really great nick for two years old so i'm gonna wipe them down and i'll show you in a second so I've just been wiping it down with this Astonish kind of just uh, antibacterial surface cleaner. And I just use, this is literally clean out the wash, but it just keeps leaving fluff everywhere. And especially like I can pick it all down, then it gets in between the letters. So I don't normally do this, but I'm going to, I've got an, um, a Fabulosa kind of disinfectant wipe. And I'm going to just try to get like in between and get like the fluff out like this is one of the annoying things about when you clean it like the fluff because it's white as well and obviously this smeg lettering is quite small yeah that's getting out but yeah <laughs> you know you're using that that kind of fabric cloth is good to kind of do the overall kind of once over but then you do need something else to um <clears throat> kind of get in the crevices so to speak 
So yeah, top-notch quality hair, guys. I mean, this video is uh, <laughs> thrilling. <laughs> but yeah, it's just giving you an idea. Like, I'm being honest with you. Like, you know, if you're going to buy these, I think they're highly 100% worth it. There's no doubt in my mind at all. But you know, you've got to think about all the little things that you're going to get annoyed about because you're spending so much money on uh, a blooming kettle and a toaster. And you're going to want it to look clean all the time. Trust me, even if you think, nah, I'll be all right, I'll be all right. If you don't, like, I just can't, I can't, I can't, okay? <laughs> needs to be, it's like, my, I brought, I treated myself to a car earring last year as well. And oh, the amount of scratches on there, it's just heartbreaking. Um, I need to take it actually to them to get clean. But, um, but yeah, so there you go. So that's one thing about the smeg uh, that can be a bit annoying. However, you know, I'm putting you away now. You're not really seeing any dirt or anything, are you? Let's be honest. But for me, as the owner, I know it's there. So what's this here? Oh my God, hang on. Have we got a mark? Hang on, people. Okay, I'm putting you down. Where is it? Okay, here. You see it? What's going on? Oh, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it. <gasps> we have a mark. Okay, that kind of looks like when someone walks past your car door and, like, knocks something on there. I'm going to give it a rub and see if it comes off, but I don't think that's going to. You see what I'm on about here? Like a line. Now that's going to bug me. <laughs> okay. That mark is not coming off. It's this one here. However, as you can see, like, let me get you in focus. You can't really tell it's there. Like, you wouldn't know. I know it's there. And then because I used this to rub this, it's made it all fluffy again. So I'm going to defluff this. This is the other side. I need to defluff that as well. But, yeah, this came out quite nice, as you can see. Probably shouldn't have just run my finger all over it. I'm trying to smear it all again. But, yeah, that came up nice. No concerns here. Just need to give that a bit of wipe down. But... Everything else, as you can see, top notch. So I'm just going to use this one still, just because it's obviously a brand new one. I don't waste it, and it was just getting rid of fluff. So I'm wiping this down. I mean, just look. Like that shine, there is nothing wrong with this. Like, it has not tarnished. It's still beautifully shiny. Again, fluff is a major issue with these, like, crevices and stuff around here. So you do have to, like, get in there. But, you know, that you're going to get that with any kind of toaster and kettle i'm just doing it around the edges as well like over here yeah so you know there's something to kind of if you're like really really anal about those type of things like it might drive you a bit crazy um but i'm like don't get me wrong like i'm not a filth bag but at the same time i don't want like things to look dirty especially when you spend so much money on it um and again so i haven't wiped down but you know like i did the other one the cloth this is just from how it was before a tea towel or anything like that you're going to get fluff on it it's just going to happen as you see it kind of rubs off really easily just giving it a once over so there isn't as much fluff between the smegs uh here just because i didn't um wipe it down with the cloth so that's a lesson i actually think i take away i've never thought to use a wet cloth before i've always kind of just used like a um a tea towel version so actually i think i might do that because it's actually really easy to do that um the top while it's drying so you know it's obviously a little bit smeary here and there but um yeah still wet that's why <laughs> but yeah once that dries off that will be fine um let's do the other side so I try and really kind of get in there, like, okay, so you can see there's like, lo oh, sorry, try and get some focus for you, apologies. Ah! Okay, so as you can see, like, it's got, like, they look like chips probably to you guys, but I can just see their fluff everywhere. Let's just wipe it away. Gone. Gone. Oh my God, yeah, this is the way to do it. Um, I have been doing it wrong all this time. How annoying, because I have spent ages trying to get rid of the fluff. I learned something while trying to show you guys something, so that makes me happy. Um, so, yeah, so much fluff get between these letters. Like, did you just, like, you seen all this fluff I'm knocking out from just the E here? Like, it is so frustrating. Let me come down. Oh, like, I wish, like, I kind of need, like, a um, <clears throat> toothpick to get between them, but at the same time, I'm scared to use a toothpick. So if anyone's got any recommendations on how to get between the uh, crevices. But yeah. Sorry if my camera skills aren't overly great. I'm just trying to show you. But there you go. I mean, and then let's just wipe down the bottom. I mean, there, that is a shine on there. And let's have a look. See, I haven't done this bit yet. Can you see like, all the fluff's just been pushed over here? So let's get it gone. Not today, fluff. Uh, Bye-bye. Yeah, literally. Oh, I love this kettle so I love this kettle. Love this toaster and kettle so much. Yeah, so you're gonna get this wherever, like any toaster I think you're gonna have. Uh, it's unavoidable. 
So let's just wipe these down. I think I've said this on a previous one as well. My go-to setting is 3.5 and that's kind of like a light brown, very light brown um, toast. I mean, do you see how well that just cleaned up then? The ball, yeah, no problem there. There you go, look, guys, there's nothing wrong with this. Oh, this is working well. There's no issues. Yeah, real good. So, oh gosh, I don't know why it keeps in. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna invest myself in the camera because I'm getting a bit over filming on this phone. Um, but yes, yeah, so they are. I'm gonna just wipe it down, wipe out the inside quickly, and then I will show you in a second. So there you are, back in their little home. Really like them. I can't complain about them. Obviously, the the decor at the moment isn't great, but I'm gonna paint the wall. Ah, I'm gonna paint the wall this color. And I think that with them, not like I'm basing it around just my toast and kettle. I mean, my, my microwave is white as well. <laughs> no, I'm basing it around all three of them. Um, but I think that would go really well. What do you think? Like this kind of colour against these. I just think it will look really good. Um, so yeah, that's a um, work in progress. Went to get the paint yesterday and went to the wrong place. Um, I forgot where I got the swatches from. So, <laughs> so yeah, so there we go. I love them. I think they go really well in my kitchen. Um, really looking forward to kind of painting that wall. And yeah, if you're thinking about getting a smeg, yeah, two years on, appreciate they were in storage for seven months, but they are holding strong and they're not showing any signs of giving up anytime soon. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you want me to do another update in like six months or so, just let me know. I know you guys love the smeg videos. They're like my most watched videos. It's insane. Um, but they are honestly awesome. I don't regret buying them. If something was ever to happen to them, I would repurchase them. I wouldn't even get another one. I just, I love them. Something about them, they make me feel bougie. They make me feel, <laughs> they make me want to have my toast in the morning. They make me want to have the, you know, the kettle boiling. It, it, it just, yeah, it's very self-absorbed, I know, but it's true. And I think when you buy these things, you buy them to make yourself feel good in a way. And they do make me feel good. And that may be like a bit too honest, but... I am honest, so I'm <laughs> just being honest, like it's the truth. Do you need to spend a hundred or pounds on each of them? No, um, but did I want it? Yeah, and do I regret it? No, I love them, so just being honest with you. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go, because otherwise I'm just gonna keep digging myself a hole. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you again soon. Bye.